this is my oil level with 5,004 miles. Whoops, do it again. 5,004 miles on the last oil change with liquid molly in it, eight liters. Now, I just drove it 150 miles, so I had been the block below this. I was down one to the right below the bottom of the line. And now I'm gonna change the oil and in 5,000 miles, I will do another one. So here I am, 4,898 miles later and six months later, uh, this time the last oil gauge took reading I just, you just saw was with uh, Molly Lube, or Liquid Molly, Liquid Molly oil in it. And it was hot engine one bar up from the low spot. Now, turn it back on. I am using driven oil and I'm at the same spot, but I'm 20 hours cold and it's 15 degrees cooler out. So the, it's never been below that. The last time I was below the little low, low checkpoint, turn off and do it again. Turn my fan down. So, yes, it is, that's 0.46 of a quart. I'm that much better with, with uh, Driven compared to the Liquid Molly. And I'll talk about that. I saw uh, two six month apart, 5,000 mile apart videos of my oil gauge level indicator and first one with liquid molly and I was down to the add section actually below that and second 5,000 miles with driven oil and they're different they're six months apart 5,000 miles apart that's not a very accurate way of telling you because I think each of those little blocks is 0.46 of a quart, or is it a liter? I don't know. There's no dipstick. And the only way to be accurate is to drain the oil and measure how much came out. I didn't do that. But with these engines, or these, the 987s and the 997s, all the, the water cooled Porsches up to the direct injection, they got problems with. Intermediate shaft bearings and bore scoring. Apparently, the direct injections do now too. I don't know. Uh, I don't have one of those. I have one of these. Anyway, there's all kinds of threads on the internet about oil. What kind of oil? What not kind of oil? What do you do? What not do? Uh, I've pretty much tried to get the oil that works best for my engine. For my diesels. Miata, most of everything else. I run synthetic diesel oil because diesel oil has the zinc and anti-wear properties that regular oil doesn't have anymore. I think Chevrolet was the last major manufacturer to go away from flat tappet lifters to roller lifters. And when they did that, don't need anti-wear properties for gasoline engines. Diesel still need it. So diesel oil, 5W40 or 15W40, I use Rotella, but you can use whatever brand you want. Uh, I can buy it in two and a half gallon jugs. That's why I buy it. Walmart has it, but they have Dello as well. Anyway, the oil works for engines that are flat tapping. All right. I was looking for a way to make sure that my Porsche does not kill itself, me just driving around. Not even racing, just driving around. And it's one of those, do you trust people who make money off rebuilding them? In theory, they offer a warranty, so if they rebuild it and they say use this, it must work. Will it keep you from having to go see them? I don't know. Uh, L and N or LN Engineering in Illinois. They do their, uh, I think they call them Nickies. 
they re, they re, re sleeve the cylinder blocks so that you don't have once bore scoring happens they bore it out put in new sleeves and they're good to go you're good to go forever in theory if you're going to do that you might as well bore it out put bigger pistons in and blah 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 whole bunch of money a whole bunch of money more almost as much as i paid for the car i can't afford that right now flat six innovations they use the Nickies from LNN, LNN Engineering and building engines. They build stock replacement engines or performance engines or crazy custom ones, whatever. They all say use driven DT40 oil for the water cooled uh, 97 engines, M97s. And I was like, I first saw it, I was like, what is driven? Who the heck is this? It was kind of a cool story. If you go to the Driven website, they talk about Joe Gibbs Racing. Joe Gibbs Racing is, well, obviously Joe Gibbs, uh, was the coach of the Washington Redskins back in the 80s, won three Super Bowls in the early 90s, but also was had a racing problem on the side. Started uh, NASCAR racing. In the late 90s, they were having a lot of engine failure. They were competing at the highest levels in NASCAR, doing very good, but they kept on having engine failures. They figured out it was the oil. I'm not sure who their sponsor was. I'm not getting into that. I'm not trying to step on anybody's lines. So they decided to make their own oil. They wouldn't have that problem anymore. And they called it Joe Gibbs Racing Oil. Since then, their engine failures have come down to parts failures not lubrication failures. There's there's a difference. I get, they take them apart and they look because it's a lot of money on the line when an engine breaks in one of those cars. So they have to they they know what happened to cause the failure. Sometime, I think, and I'm I'm not going to mention it. Late aughts, early teens. They Joe Gibbs Racing sold off the oil, and the people that have it now call it driven and yeah okay driven performance motor oil lnn engineering flat six innovations two of the leading people who fix these things when they break engine wise say use this oil they say they worked with driven to make this oil for these engines there's also a race oil too uh they're expensive it's it's high teens per quart to buy this stuff so this one actually is my when i pour in my eight and a half quarts i let each quart sit over this on a, in a vice and let it all drain in so i get i got i got 200 milliliters about seven ounces in oil that was still in the jugs once i poured them in so this 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 one is my recover don't throw any oil out because it costs too much I was surprised that I got a half a quart, pretty much, of more oil at 5,000 miles of driving this on a 95,000 mile engine. That was a pleasant surprise. I don't like spending the high amount of money for these quarts of oil, but if they give me that, I'm getting no smoke, I got no soot in the tailpipe, no weird noises, no leaks, I'm happy. Because spending seventeen, eighteen dollars a quart of oil is a whole lot better than spending twenty-five or thirty thousand for an engine. And yeah, I could probably rebuild one myself, but it's still going to be fifteen to twenty thousand. That's just outrageous. You know, there's no point in sticking a used one in because it's got the same problem this one does. All right, not trying to ramble on too long. Driven oil, not being advertised. They don't sponsor me. I'm just, that's what I found with them. Uh, Porsche, yes, they recommended Mobile One. I've never run Mobile One on this because FCP Euro had their oil change kit special with the liquid molly with the filter and the drain washer and the nine and a half quarts. Uh, I was by about that, the first three oil changes. But I was getting down to the bottom of the marker. 
I had the ads point at 5,000 miles. So I went to driven. Now I'm above the marker. We'll see how the next one does. Hopefully there'll be an update.